Hi, this is Yusuf from Propane Fitness. Um, I've been having a really good training week during Ramadan. It's really good doing a lot of training and really good macros, ultimate macros, hitting the macros within at least, you know, um, five grams. Really pleased with them. Um, been doing a lot of snatching, um, some squats, having a really good time. Um, and just, you know, I, I, F, Y, L, at the end of the day, getting bogged down. Hey guys, when was the last time that you deconstructed your motivation behind why you train and eat the way that you do? I want to offer some food for thought and encourage you to trace your motivation back to its root. So begin with a quote from Anthony DeMello. One understands one's personal worth when one no longer identifies or defines oneself in terms of these transient things. Anthony DeMello discusses the idea of a child being brought up on a drug all of its life and this drug is called approval and appreciation and when the child grows older it becomes an addict and can no longer conceive of living without that drug so as a result the tentacles of society get into you um, and control your actions where you effectively become this robot that only acts in ways that help you get your fix and also start seeing other people as either a support or a threat to your drug, which prevents you from connecting with others at any reasonable level of depth. So there's a link in the description below if you're interested in that concept further, but what we're interested in here is that in the context of fat loss and physical change, something that we discuss a lot at Propane Fitness, obviously, and people do want to look and feel better about themselves, and uh, being lean is commonly associated with being attractive and healthy and successful and it's understandable given the bombardment that we get from the media that conflates uh, leanness with attractiveness. We don't agree with that paradigm. It's unsustainable and it's, it's unhealthy um, to, to have that as your, as your motivation behind training. A physical change should be done for you and for you alone um, and if you diet to impress others that's a very short road to failure. So dieting is hard and there's a lot more longevity in your motivation if it's out of desire for growth rather than for approval. A degree of honesty is required to examine the reason behind why you train and why you diet. And the ultimate goal is to realize that you are great as you are and that this pursuit is an enhancement to your life. And it's all about growing stronger physically, mentally, and spiritually. And to shift your focus towards the person that you become in the process rather than a, a final aesthetic or performance goal. Um, equally, something that Dick Talens um, brought up, which is that when you associate your body image with your identity, then what you're doing is taking away your power to change. And so to enjoy the process and detach yourself from the self-image as best that you can yeah. is the ideal. Obviously that's very hard to do when you're dissatisfied with your yeah. body image. But um, I feel that, yeah, Dick Talens expresses this very well. I'm going to quote from him. By tying being fat to your sense of self, you're literally eliminating the possibility that you can change and become a better you. As an awesome human being, you deserve to be the best you possible. Limiting yourself in this way is the exact opposite of self-compassion. It's self-loathing. True acceptance means being able to forgive yourself and look at things objectively without judgment so that you can become a better person. Being fat shouldn't be part of your identity. It's a state that you can change. It's not like being gay, black, Asian, having a small penis, having a large penis, etc. There is nothing to accept because people aren't fat so much as they have excess fat. So also another link in the description below where Dick Talens talks about a healthy level of self-compassion. Um, and I hope that 
that was at least a useful spur for uh, re-examining your um, motivation behind diet and training. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Speak to you guys later. Good. And then we can do a sort of linear progression model to get you up from there. I thought you would do that.